Hi, I am Mukul and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I would be showing you an amazing chess miniature. This game was played between Jack, Mises and NN. It was played in the year 1900. This game is from a simultaneous chess exhibition. Jack Mises had white pieces and he started with e4. NN played e5, bishop to c4, the bishop's opening. Knight to f6 attacking the pawn on e4, knight to c3 and we have the Vienna game. And then played knight takes pawn on e4, temporarily sacrificing the knight. If knight takes knight, then d5 wins back the lost piece. So in this position, white played queen to h5, threatening checkmate on f7. Knight to d6, defending the f7 square and attacking the bishop on c4. Bishop to b3, saving the bishop. Bishop to e7, d3, making way for the dark square bishop to come into the game. Black castled kingside and thought that his king is very safe. Knight to f3, bringing more attackers. Knight to c6, and now comes knight to g5, threatening checkmate on h7. Black played h6. Please pause the video and try to find the best square for the knight. Or should I say, try to find the best move in this position. Did you pause? What did you find? Moving the knight surely comes to mind. But Mises was in a king hunting mode and he played h4, allowing black to capture the knight. But black played knight to e8. Let's take this back. What happens if pawn takes knight? Then pawn takes pawn and how to stop checkmate? So in this position knight to e8 was played. Knight to d5. Creeping closer to the black king. In this position black decided to play knight to f6. Attacking the white queen and challenging the knight on d5. We have reached another critical position in the game. I request you to pause the video again and try to find the best square for the white queen. Did you pause? Did you find the best square for the white queen? Well, Mises came up with an out of the world move. He found the best square for his queen and he placed his queen on g6. Unbelievable. And what did black do? Black simply resigned. He simply couldn't resist this unbelievable queen sacrifice. An absolutely shocking move. Well, let's check the obvious continuation. Pawn takes queen, then knight takes on e7. This is double check, discovered check. And black king has just one square to go, king to h8. It is white to play and to give checkmate. Can you see the move? Knight takes on g6, checkmate. And let's go back to this position. What if instead of playing the obvious, if knight takes knight is played, then we have Queen to h7, checkmate. And we are at move 10. It is white to play. Did you find the killer move? Or should I say, did you find the out of the world move? If you did, well done. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now. Thank you.